EFSF chief Klaus Regling is in China to drum up financial support. EU leaders want to boost the fund's firepower to $1.4 trillion, but multi-billion dollar hedge fund investor Jim Chano says, don't get your hopes up. China will do what's in China's best interest, I'm pretty sure, and given that the Europeans apparently think that they've solved this mostly on their own, the Chinese will, uh, will say nice words to them, but I doubt we'll see much hard, cold cash uh, head to Europe from China. Well, our reporter Stephen Engel was there and joins us live from Beijing. Steve, what exactly was Klaus Regling's pitch? Yeah, well, we were trying to get him to explain it, but he kept on deferring and saying, listen, this special vehicle has not actually been formed yet, uh, so we, haven't, we don't really have anything to, to pitch to them just yet. And he wouldn't say what the conditions the Chinese were going to be proposing. So there was lots of speculation, and uh, Klaus did not want to get into speculation. He began the briefing today by saying uh, that they were at a very early stage with the Chinese on possibly contributing to this special bailout fund, and that... The there would certainly be no conclusion today. Uh, he would not speculate on whether China would invest uh, in that uh, special purpose vehicle. And he repeatedly reminded the packed press room that uh, he was there uh, to not talk about those conditions. He says China has been a buyer of EFSF bonds throughout this year without special conditions. Here's what he had to say. China is, uh, um, is a good, loyal customer of EFSF bonds, and we are having these discussions in that spirit and this good experience we have had over the last 12 months. Now, the Financial Times Deutschland reporting China is weighing, putting up to 100 billion euros into this enhanced European bailout fund, but uh, with conditions such as part of the investment fund must be held in renminbi, other states must participate, and they would want obvious security of that investment. Now, we did hear from Chinese Vice Finance Minister uh, Zhao Guangyao today uh, saying that uh, that investment by China is under discussion, quote unquote, and that China is open to all options, but there is no conclusion just yet. Regling uh, again today saying that the ES EFSF may explore setting up a special vehicle with the IMF, and he said that may be possible. However, he would be surprised if the Yuan denomination vehicle would be uh, on the cards. All right, Stephen, thank you Francie? so much for bringing us that. Uh, Stephen Engel there.